Ravens, so we are back with Corporate Goth Alternative Part 3 of the mini-series. This is the final part, ish. So we're thinking about how to do this today, knowing that I had four outfits as opposed to the three that I said I was going to do. Um, I wanted to give a good variety of outfits. So the first one was the jumpsuit with the duster coat, the waterfall duster coat with the mesh top. Um, I then chose the top and skirt outfit. Um, I then went with a simple dress for those who don't have kind of gothic -y clothes they can wear to work. Just showing you how you can wear something very simple straight off the hang on the high street. And then I wanted to dress up a Killstar outfit and prove that you can also wear Killstar to work. Um, so we were thinking about how to do it, knowing what you girls like, getting hot and sweaty, changing. We decided that the Griffin's idea of pre-recording all the outfits um, and then doing a little bit of a live intro was the best idea. So I'm not going to show you the outfits again. We did that in, in part two, which we did yesterday. Um, I will show you the makeup look. Apologies if I'm a little bit hot and sweaty. Um, but this is the kind of thing, if it's a bit of rough, I'm very sorry about that. But this is the kind of thing I would wear to work. I haven't done any eyeliner. Um, the lipstick, if you're interested, is Jeffree Star Scorpio, which is quite a nice nude colour, but again, has that little bit of edge of being different. And the hair is just up in a bun because it was easier for changing. Um, I have said before, I'm quite lucky in my job. I can wear my hair loose, nobody really minds. Um, and my hair is very long. So I do can I do wear it up in a bun occasionally. Um, but just for ease for today with changing and outfits and zips, my hair was going to annoy me. So we didn't bother. So that was the look I went for. Fairly simple. As you can see, I've still got my piercings. I've got my tunnels. I still wear them to work. Um, I've got my new Scarlet and Chains bracelets that are, we'll talk about another day. Um, obviously my watch. And this is just chucked on for now, so as I'm not sat here in my underwear. That wouldn't be good for anybody. So, we've put the four outfits together. I have put a pair of boots with each. These are boots I wear to work. Um, it's not just picked for this, this particular video. I have paired them with bags that I use for work. I'm not very good at changing my bags out with my outfits. I have a lot of handbags. Um, but when it comes to going to work, I tend to find one at the moment, as you probably all know, this is my go-to, the Slayer Burner Bag by Killstar, um, just because it holds my laptop. Um, so I tend not to change my handbag for work as often as I should. But having seen some of these outfits today with the handbags, I'm now going to because I think they look fabulous. So what we've done is we have dressed them, styled them, put necklaces where required, belts, boots, bags, all the bees, the boobs, the lot, were all in the video. Maybe not so much of the boobs. We, we covered the boobs. They, they were not there. You did not see. There was nothing to see. But the bags, the boots, the belts, and jewellery. Damn it, it doesn't work. We tried. So we have recorded a little video. Um, which I will put up, it's ready to go after this live. So each one is different. The boots and everything are interchangeable with the outfits. The handbags are interchangeable. But what I've tried to show is that you can be quite gothic with your accessories and quite alternative with your accessories, but still have a very corporate look. Looks that I've worn to meetings, looks that I wear into the office. Um, the only one is the last one, which is the kill start. Yes, I would normally wear leggings. I do say that in the video. I've got tights on that I've worn them with for today just because of ease of changing. It was just too much to put leggings on as well. So I hope you enjoy the upcoming video. It is part three. I don't know why I'm holding up four fingers. Part three, three, one, two, three of the goth alternative corporate mini series. I've enjoyed doing this mini series. If there's something else you'd like me to do, um, then let me know, pop me a comment, send me an email, send me a message through Facebook, this page, um, feel free. I've also had, and I would like to know if there's any interest because I will happily go and source some bits and pieces from the Griffin's wardrobe um, and put them together. If you'd like to see any men out there, any corporate looks, 
I did actually get contacted on Instagram yesterday um, by a gentleman who said he was looking for more gothic corporate looks. Um, you can Google, but my advice there, I can do a little 15, 20 minute live on men's corporate goth. Um, if you would like, there are ways of doing it. Um, and it's quite simple and it's, it's stuff you can pick up off the high street. Um, it's just which kind of styles you go for. So I'm going to leave it here for today, mainly because it is now half past three. In 30 minutes, I need to be sat on eBay for the end of an auction for a guitar for this one. And we've spent all morning rearranging the office, which you've probably seen on Instagram. Um, some of my boots are missing because they're down here on the floor because I've been using them for filming. Um, but yes, we've rearranged the office as I've now got a desk space for working from home. So, yes, that's it for today. <coughs> um, next week, I am going to do a live, but I don't know on what. I haven't yet decided. If there's something you'd like to see, let me know. I do have a little bit of a pre-record as well that I may chuck up at some point if I'm struggling of something to do. Um, the pre-record will be the goth tag, which I stole off Simply Spooky, Little Miss Kirsty, um, off YouTube, just for something to do, because why not? Um, but if you have got any ideas for this week's live, then let me know. In the meantime, part three, the styling and wearing of the outfits that I put together from part two is going to be coming up in the next few minutes. It just needs the time to load. I hope you enjoy it. I hope that Storm Dennis hasn't caused too many problems for you. We've lost three fence panels now and I don't know what's going on with the garden ornaments, but they've gone for a Burton as well. Um, so we'll have to go and sort those out at some point. But I hope Dennis is behaving himself where you are. And if he's not, give him a slap from me. That's what you need to do. Um, but yes, the next video coming up is the pre-record of the four styled outfits. I do say where things have come from, what brand they are. Um, kind of given an idea of price if I know. Um, and you'll be shocked that some of it's from Primark. Some of it's Killstar, some of it's ASOS. It all just means a case of shopping around and putting together what you feel looks good. So until then, Ravens, as always, enjoy the next clip coming up and stay beautiful.